how many days are there in a week? Seven. And how many different diet days do you have in a week? Um, three. Wait, how does that work? The math. I have three diets. It depends on how many days I train per week, mm -hmm. depending on how many of them are actually days of the week. Does it also depend on what you're training that day? Yes, it does. I okay. have an off day diet, I have a training day diet, and now I have a a leg day diet. <laughs> I have a leg day diet. Form of carb HD from HD muscle. Yeah. 100 grams of basically really fancy exotic. Cyclic dextrin, and awesome a bunch of cyclic stuff. Cyclic dextrin and a bunch of other stuff. It's great stuff. So the breakdown of leg day diet is 4,800 calories, 310 grams of protein, 760 grams of carbs, and 50, no, sorry, 60 grams of fat. So if you actually do the macro split on that, it's 25% protein, 65% carbs, and 10% fat. So it's, it's a lot of carbs for leg day. It works very well. So I was really skeptical about doing the 100 grams of carbs around a workout. And I just tried it on leg day, and I was getting some really, really sick leg pumps. Yeah. And uh, I was like, Dorian Hamilton, uh, Team HD, he does a lot of the bodybuilder side. He's doing my diet now as well, preparing for the competition. And I asked him, I was, Dorian, is it okay if I ingest 100 grams of carbohydrates for like a smaller body part? He's like, well, yeah, because your body is still going to use them. And since you're trying to bring up your arms, your body is, you know, that's good. You need to add those in, even for a smaller body part. So I've just been eating 100 grams of carbs for my workouts. 20 minutes before, I drink this one throughout my workout, and I drink this one right after my workout. Okay, and That's you're it. still employing what we did in the bench video is you're starting with a power exercise, a strength exercise. Yeah, I am. So I'm just going to do one set of safety bar squat. <laughs> oh, right now? Uh, yeah, right now. Come on. Do for America. Oh, these are great. Finish it. Oh, yes. Victory. I want to sing a song, but I don't know what to sing. Song, song, sing, song. Uh, don't sing. You got to do your last rep of squats, man. Huh? Your last set. What? Oh, wait. That was your last set. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Tom is rehabbing his knees and his groin right now. He's got the equipment to do it and the will. Yeah, he's got I mean, the will to get better and to make himself heal. Well, the, uh, we didn't mention the tricking session the other day. What was actually bothering me, and not too much because I would have stopped, I would have had signals and indicators, or my knee, my right knee was acting up. And that's the knee from squatting, that's the knee from tricking. Just overuse gets it. And I've been doing, John can attest, I've been trampolining too a much. lot. Probably too, too much. Four to five days a week. Um, too much. Yeah, a lot. I mean, I was pushing it very hard. So you've done a real trick for your uh, for getting lean, though. I think the trampoline oh, was yeah. cr critical in that. Actually, yeah. of you getting as lean as you are now, which you can't tell because you're wearing a sweater. What is this sweater you're I'm wearing? Just trying to stay warm, bro. It's huh? like 40 degrees. It feels for me right now. My body's chilly. Uh oh. I'm in a hypothermic state. My balls have frozen off. Eight bell squats today. I'm gonna do and then leg. Isolations. Nice. You are too, but I'm like this is a rehab day for me because mm -hmm. my groin is still blue and purple. <laughs> I have a set of safety bar squat. It's like look how similar this is. You're primed. You're primed, man. Uh, my my pit shark PR is uh is <laughs> what a PR to brag about. The knee wraps aren't doing anything. They're just keeping the band from tearing the hair off the back of my knee. So it's just fabric. Yeah. So he's using those bands. To target his uh, VMO. The more I target it, the better it feels to go up and down stairs, hmm. which is important for my quality of life. Okay. Ah! Why don't you get a elevator? Oh. Oh. Yeah. All right. He's going to be doing a lot of reps. We'll talk about his carbs right now. They're he's drinking. Did you drink them all already? I drink half of them. Okay. I'm down to 50 left. Think. Do you drink them fast, slow, or based on what? What do you think? I drink the first uh, 25 right before the workout. The other 25, uh, to the first half of the workout, when I get halfway through the workout, they're gone. I drink the last 50 hmm. right after the workout's done. 
I'll wait 45 minutes, then I eat another meal with about 120 grams of carbs. Yeah. So and your first two meals had about 100 grams of carbs. They each had each. about 100 grams of carbs each, yeah. Yeah. I'm sitting at about 500 grams of carbs uh, after I'm done working out. What are your carb sources in the beginning of the day? I don't eat potatoes until the end of the day. So it's rice in the morning? It's all rice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, on my off days, I don't eat any rice. I and cream of rice! It's cream back. It's back. It's back in the diet. We're eating uh, Pride Foods cream of rice. This is flavored in a fun way. It's really nice. I'll put it on the screen. There, it's it's definitely the tastiest cream of rice we've ever had, and it cooks I think a little better. I think it's ground differently. It is. It's it's a little. It's not ah! finer, but it just cooks better, and it's just a better texture, easier to not f up. Come on, brother. Oh, that was a lot of weight. That was like eight reps. Now I gotta go more. Yeah, I know. Are you doing pause? Okay. Uh, but if you have had cream of rice before, if you overcook it, it becomes cream of, I would never put this shit in my mouth. Cream of <laughs> crap. If you guys haven't tried it for pre-workout, you just digest and you got energy. It's, it's, it's good, yeah. Okay. Come on, man. Come on. Yes, up, 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 up. Okay, I got partials. Come on, partials. Fast. Or slow. Whatever you prefer. There you go. Get that pump. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, you doing another rest? I think so, yeah. Jesus, bro. I'll get two sets of this. I gotta make it count. Mm -hmm. Two reps, six partials. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, that's no, what it's not happening. That's what you did. <laughs> Okay, well, I took it as far as I could. All right, you're warming up the machine for me. Nice. Are you training to fight the mountain? I'm just oiling it. <laughs> this is this is Thor. This is your baby producing thing. Yep. Boom, baby. The baby producing thing. If I'm thing. weighted, then I kick him harder. And yeah. It's like I'm kicking a 400 pound body, right? Right. It's just the perfect logic. So quads are going to be kicking it up into another gear. Now, Tom has actually brought the fun machine mr dorsiflexion over here um if you're wondering where i got it i bought it on ebay actually so most companies don't sell those they're for your shins so you're gonna be training your shins too because you're gonna be taking a break from acrobatics because there's not much you can do with that with your groin the way it is so you might as well just toast the crap out of your calves and your shins i think it's my inguinal am i saying that is it linguini guys if you didn't know sam is smarter than both of us Inguinal ligament, she confirms. I think that's it, because it's right above. It's, it's above it's above the stuff, yeah. Sam, would you just yell something? It's above my duck eggs, my ox heart. <laughs> For the grow your body period, in a couple months, then my knees and everything will be healthy to just blast them with hack beautiful. squats and leg press and all that's that. Beautiful, yeah, good plan. Yeah, Happy but time. your knees. My knees have never been healthy. Here, me... I mean, my knees have never been this healthy. Ever. Like, I stopped complaining about them last year when I was complaining about my arms instead because I have <laughs> knee problems. I don't have arm problems now. But I've, I've always had knee problems ever since I was like 18 or 19. And uh, there's a lot of changes I made. I wrote an injury book about it. Uh, it's in the description. It's in my website. Um, how I fix my knees. But I just continued with the process and they just, they've gotten a lot stronger. And I'm going to be doing an exercise that I've always hated, which is Bulgarian split squats. Call them American split squats today. Let's change it. How many reps sets are you doing? Um, I haven't done this exercise in like uh, 15 years. So right now I'm just trying to feel it more like a bodybuilder. Yeah. Than a guy trying to press them on the internet. So just got some 30s. Cool. I'm trying to do short strokes here. Ugh. That's what you're good at. We're talking about carbs and diet. And you're getting help with your diet from Dorian Hamilton. Yeah. And he's a great dude. Yeah. Uh, Antoine's coach. Antoine won a show. Dorian is great. For your training for this prep, you're doing it all. I'm doing all my own training. Antoine does all of his own training. Sometimes Dorian trains with Antoine, I think. Um, I don't think he does training for his athletes. He might, but I think all the HD athletes that uh, Dorian does the diet and stuff for, he doesn't usually do their training. So. But you would do it anyway. I mean, you, training? You would, yeah, yeah. 
I, I don't want to let anyone do that one for me, no. No. Because I'm still going to be doing like backflips and stuff, even during the prep here and there. Yeah, no one can take an account. And uh, the mobility work yeah. and just kind of balancing things out. I have to do it my way. Uh, just, of what you've learned over 20 years. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. I, I, I feel like I have a strong grasp on how to prepare for this bodybuilding prep uh, to grow my muscles and the muscles that are lagging. I, I have a plan for those and then I want to see it happen. I'm having trouble standing up, honestly. This is Juji's right quad. Move, uh, move your, your, your shadows on your left. There you go. Just stay down. Stop looking at your legs. <laughs> this is his right. Like okay. That. Look at his video. left, bro. Your VMO vastus medialis is huge on your right compared to your left. Watch this. Two, two. What two, is going two, on? Two. I'm trying to correct it. It's not working. You know, this is my jumping leg and tricking. Oh, it's yeah. It's my dominant leg. It's my jumping and landing leg for a lot of tricks. But I'm trying to fix the imbalance. But Jesus, man, like what is going on? Why like, don't you just do quad extensions on your left today? Because I'm, I don't know. Maybe I should. Just I think do an extra should. set for my left leg on every exercise, on every workout, on every exercise. That's actually what I do on my left arm for yeah. bicep, and it's been catching up. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe I should do that then. Wow, that's insane. V5 on your left. And a V10 on your right in terms of steepness. It's so stupid, yeah. But Juju, you're constricting. Yeah, I use the BFRs. I'm noticing that I think this is a big part of why my vascularity is increasing in my legs so much. Not just when I wear the damn things, but you know, I'll be sitting around the house in the evening in the living room wearing stupid short shorts and my veins and my legs look like the veins in my arms finally. Hmm. And I remember this. When I started doing bodybuilding work for my upper body uh, seven years ago, the vascularity increased before the size of the muscle. Uh, There's like a lag there. Like all of a sudden I started getting really vascular and then the growth happened after that. So I'm encouraged by that. I've never seen so much vascularity in my legs before. So I'm thinking this is a good sign that I'm on the right path to grow my legs. So more blood vessels being produced. Yeah. Uh, more blood nutrients being delivered, more waste products being exported means more stuff happening in the muscles, so I'm just trying to grow these legs for the show, man. I'll do a freaking big set. Dude, your legs don't look like it's a part of your body right now because of the way it's weird. You look like a man on a different set of legs. What is it? What is a different set of legs on a, on a... I'd say your upper body just doesn't match your legs right now for some reason. Is it good or bad? I think your legs look bigger than your upper body because they're being pushed against the thing. Oh. Hmm. My uh, downfall as a fellow person that films for these videos is I always film the end of the set, but when you're only doing one limb at a time and you can switch between them, well, it doubles the set time, which makes it great because <laughs> now you get to watch the beginning of the next set, which is easier. I like what you're grabbing down there is David's hammer. Yeah. <laughs> it's 63 pound hammer, baby. Oh, yeah. Just grabbing a lot of things during this exercise. I was doing the same thing with my hands. It's just, you, you want to like fidget around for because you're uncomfortable and uh, you just start grabbing things with your hands. But yeah. the single, we figured out, John's been doing, uh, Sam actually is the innovator of this. Um, John's machine, if you guys haven't noticed, you can't do, you have to kind of uh, go in unison with both legs and it's, it's pretty hard to get it right mm -hmm. so doing one leg at a time though it takes a long time you get to concentrate more and you get a sick hamstring pump yeah you get a better can't see mine because i'm not wearing underwear like juji <laughs> <laughs> doing calf and shins i did not want to get back on this damn machine but it looks really well for calves this is an awesome machine for calves here and if you use it <laughs> i think to be honest uh let's see if the commenters agree um I think a lot of people get at bodybuilders for having small calves, but it doesn't seem like it's as big of an influencer within the judges. You don't think so? I don't know, man. It's it. it I don't want to take a chance. I don't, I, I know you need to get bigger calves, but yeah. I'm saying that it, it it feels like people want it for more complete physique, but it's not completely like people with small calves have won. Mr. Olympia. A little, little studying on that. Yeah, look at some small calf bodybuilders. I don't know exactly. I, I can't name any off the top of my head, but I know there have been, right? But yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Stan Efferding has his pro card, and he's got very small calves. Hmm. So that's and he's also a heavy, heavy squatter, heavy, heavy deadlifter. Yeah. There. All right. There we go. Ooh. 
Doing two sets? Just yeah, this is my second second yep. set. Um, wow. Since my calves are mostly untrained, since I don't train them that much, I don't think I have to do anything really crazy to start with. So you just gotta stimulate them. Yeah, I just gotta be consistent with them and stimulate them exactly. Now the reason I actually had this machine was to increase the uh, strength of my ankles and peroneals for acrobatics, because being a large guy that does flips outside on grass is not great for your ankles, and there's not very many things you can do to strengthen your ankles. But uh, you know, you're talking about uh, the calves not being a very well judged body part on body building stage, Tom. What do you think the, about the shin muscles? Is uh, you know I follow the bodybuilding subreddit, and mm -hmm. they talk about calves quite a bit, and I, I've very rarely seen. I don't think I've any, seen anyone talk about shins. <laughs> <laughs> How awful it would be to have a shim pump on a bodybuilding stage. Oh my god, dude. That'd that be the worst. That would be so, so destructive to your entire routine. Oh. I can't even imagine how bad that would be, bro. I want to see a bodybuilder backstage just pump up the shins and nothing yeah. else. It's like, guys, I'm... When, I'm, I bring, I'm, when my walks in with this, with a backpack, he's got a sh anterior tibialis machine. Uh -huh. That would be really funny, actually. You should do that just as a joke. At the <laughs> Everything else good, just shins are lacking a little today. Right, you guys don't know what the judges want this year. <laughs> yeah. I do. I have insider information. Mm -hmm. uh, Next Strength and Power has been promoting the anterior tibialis max lately, the strict max, back and butt against the chair. Uh -huh. And you must be six inches away. Toe must be on the pad. No bands. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we, see, if we popularize this, Larry will do it. I, did you see what he did? 235, yeah. was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strip curl. He's into it, man. He's insane. He tore his bicep like a year ago, too. It's amazing yeah. that he made the comeback like this. My last shake. And that's that. I'll wait 45 minutes. And... Now I'm gonna do these, this exercise called a quad fallout. I got it from Chris Duffin. Uh, this guy did a thousand pound squat for three reps recently. So if anyone knows anything about recovering their legs after leg workout, it's probably that guy. I'm doing it with a band because it's really hard to do by itself. But you, what you wanna do is push your hips forward. So close this angle. You don't wanna be like this, okay? You want your hips to be like this, pushed out. And keep your back up and then just fall back. Huh. And come back. And it's almost like the opposite of a glute ham raise. It's like the quad version of a glute ham raise. It's gonna Shit. Push into it. It's actually pretty hard. He said he did like five sets of ten at the end of every workout. I don't understand that. So Jeez. I'm only doing like, you know, like four sets of three. <laughs> Can I try? Yeah, yeah. Stretch, but you push your butt forward, you fall back. Yeah, that's it. You have to kind of push through the floor with your uh, the top of your foot to start the ascent. Like that? Is that low enough? I don't know. Try to go back further. See what happens. It should be pretty hard. Is it hard? Is it hard? Yeah. I don't have as much mass as you on the upper body. <laughs> Maybe I don't know, but it's pretty hard for me, man. I find it's pretty rough, but that's cool. It, it's neat. It's different. I've never done it before, but then I stretch my quads and I roll them. I've started rolling my quads a little bit here and there with foam roller and stuff. So you roll them now or after those? Uh, right between. after your workout. Yeah, in between, like in between this, and I just go back and forth between this and rolling them. You guys can leave now because it's just gonna be juji rolling. You're still here? The video's over. You can stop watching now.